Hello anyone, who might, uh, hello anyone who may be watching now or later and welcome aboard the Hildrake with me, your Captain Hillian and first mate... Rakir the Freya Sogon Hungry! Who's the sandwiches? <laughs> and welcome back to Technomage Return of Eternity, where last time we finally got out of the freaking canyon after roaming around for at least half an hour or so. And to prevent people from going deaf from that noise Ooh. sound. Let's move on to the tower, which is, well, the next world we ended up in. And, yeah, now we have a travel companion in the form of Talus, the only other known steamer, dreamer, or dreamer steamer, whichever you want to call it, in uh, Gothos. Oh dear, you almost gave a heart attack. For a moment it looked like you were almost about to delay the save file. We've got to cross this snow bridge. It doesn't look very safe. What do you think? I think we can all see where this is going. Yeah. I think you should go first. Sliding. Of course. Come over. It'll be all right. Ah, huh. what was that? I better follow you. Three, two. Ah! Talus, no! Don't! <laughs> I don't think she can... It's a bit late to tell her not to. Eh? Or if you say mean men's don't fall, I don't think she can do much about gravity, <laughs> Melvin. Oh, yeah, that felt a bit tone deaf. Like, that's also what you say to someone before they walk over. Not oh, after. No. Talus, can you hear me? Are you hurt? I'll help you. I'm coming down. I'll get down there Wait. somehow. Don't you worry. Just don't take the expressway, Melvin. Wait a minute. Oh, I think I know what's happened. I think the text was supposed to be before she walked over. The... Yes, yeah. it is some probe. They did make a mistake and put it in the wrong order. Could be, yeah. And, well, now the total population of uh, hybrids <laughs> is back to one. Yeah, she's alive. Yeah, not it. Okay. It, it sounds like it should be sound more concerning, but... Whoever voice acts Melvin in English has some good moments, but also moments where it sounds so... almost tone deaf to the situation. Yeah, uh, like uh, those reaction memes, like, please, no, don't. Yo, hello. Help! Can anyone help me? Go away, ghastly monsters! Leave me alone! What? I had actually forgotten about this that bit. That sounds like a job for me. I must quickly go and help him. <laughs> Burly Forth? Uh, yeah, that's a name. What um... kind of name is, name is Burly Forth? <laughs> what the? Uh, don't wave your stick at me, you dumbass. Wave it at the Yetis. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, in the canyon we also found, uh, we, well we also encountered, or rather got our asses saved, by Dagomar, who seems to be, yeah, this world's, uh, <laughs> this story's Obi-Wan Kenobi, as he is, well, the, the last remaining survivor of an ancient uh, order. Yeah. And race. I thank you heartily, my savior. These horrible creatures have been seriously trying to kill me. Sorry, by the way, if I was a bit strange before. Oh, by the way, my name is Bullyforth. What's yours? Uh, by strange, you mean waving your stick at us? Also, this guy is voiced by the same person who voiced the steamers, but he the character is noticeably taller. Like all of the other, you know, like most of the previous characters have been pretty short, uh, except maybe the dreamers, I think. But this guy doesn't have the elven ears. So what are you, human? He might be a steamer. He he, he looks a bit steamer-like. My name is Melvin, 
And I was about to try and enter the tower over there. I have tried to enter the tower, the tower of knowledge of all the ancient cultures, but just then, these horrible snow monsters attacked me. Yes. Why don't we investigate the tower together, then? Oh, no. I've had enough adventures for now, and I've had enough of the monsters. I'd rather make my way home, where I'll just mind my own business. If you really want to enter the tower, then take this key. I found it out here. It might be useful to you somewhere in there. And since you've saved my life, take this too. It's Merlin's cape, and it will protect you, particularly against magic attacks. I can imagine there are plenty of unfriendly ghosts in there. Well, then it's high time we said goodbye. Perhaps we'll meet again in more peaceful times. I'd be delighted if you could visit me and tell me all about your adventures. Yeah. The steamers were more round or pudgy, so... Yep, <laughs> another level. So, uh, Merlin's... No, not Mer Mer Melvin's mask continues. Speaking of Merlin, though, yeah, another item. Yep. Merlin's cape protects against magic spells. Okay. And, well, it actually changes our cape as well. Nice. And, well, hey, that is, this tastes good. Go to Oost with some cognate medwurst. <laughs> I was some about to ask, how the hell did you taste the cape? <laughs> well, I can try that too. <laughs> Bitter. With some sweet uh, tingle. Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm guessing he was probably supposed to be a, a steamer, but he looked more like a, a human to me. Because, yeah, the the steamers we, well, all of the steamers we've met have been more rotund. I know, but he did, he looked show up, but also very poofy with the clothing. Yeah, but well, anyone who knows a thing or two about snow clothing knows that that, that adds a lot of uh, width to you. Yeah, but I've not been using snow clothing for years. Look at them. I think I said many times. Here is houses we don't you barely need it anymore. Okay. I think that's most of them cleared out of this area, but there's still plenty to go through. This is good. Dum, dum, I actually dum, don't dum. remember much about the tower, which we probably will be entering quite soon. That this is just more a preliminary area, because well, <laughs> the level's called the mountain, not the the, the tower, not the mountain. <laughs> I got it reversed there. Also, yeah, <laughs> evil freaking snowman. Go crazy with the evil wit. Seen a snowman in years. But they say on TV and comics and stuff. In real life, I don't think I've seen a snowman in fifteen years or something. <laughs> Okay. Again, this snow usually don't stay long enough to so anyone can make a snowman. Yeah, the same over here. Typically, when it is there is typically when there is snow, it tends to be wet snow, so it, it melts almost instantly. Or turn into ice. Yep. And the, the well, ice men are not as fun. Yeah, the only time I actually had a proper snow, the reason there was. In the beginning of the pandemic, when the pollution in China was almost zero due to the had to so many things there. Yeah. Because I wonder if it did, if it did affect the weather globally. Yeah, to we a degree a, at least. Uh, yeah, at least, at least we got somewhat a normal winter. Hmm. Okay, that was all just for the potion? Okay. Possibly. And actually, now that we have our mana low, let's actually 
not refill it ourselves and see if it does regenerate like it says here. And we're actually only one level away from uh, getting our potions uh, enhanced, uh, our potions enhanced as well. That might be good if I have. In the meantime, well, there's the tower. And of course, we can... I tried to use the spell to get rid of them, and yeah, immediately hit by, well, let's not refill it. We're hit with the consequences of not refilling. Poor okay. boy, alien. Bullyforth gave us the key, so let's get in. Yep, and also, time to chase better than Kate. Hello. Oh. Fire and water arrows. With this ammunition, I'll make much greater use of my bow. Now I can set fire to things and put them out. But that sounds like goblin logic. Okay, so there, there's goblins in this world. At last, I finally made it to the Tower of Knowledge. With a bit of luck, I'll soon be able to rescue Talus. She must be half frozen by now. Let's see what else is here. These walls um. are pretty impressive. Alien? Hmm? We have run into goblins before. At the fairy forest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, me being stupid again. And uh, yeah, yeah, things are getting a bit Castlevania. Uh, yeah, it kind of reminds, uh, it kinda reminds me of Castlevania in an old way. Hmm. We should still... Uh, we should still give those uh, Bloodstained Ritual of the Night or, well, Curse of the Moon side uh, side sequels a try at some point. Uh, I'd be up uh, That's a... <laughs> Moving's too short to read the sign. Up there Ow. we go. Statue of High L Lisnabet? 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 Yes. What kind of Some ancient that? language name. Yeah. Well, you you ask, and I immediately accidentally answer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I don't actually remember much of anything about this place. There is one thing I do remember. Uh, well, more two things. Uh, the the first of those. Is going to be a spoiler, so I'm shutting up about you know, shutting up about that one. The other one is, I think, a gimmick that they use in this uh, level. Not a puzzle gimmick, I believe. But uh, okay, so it's at that moment <laughs> that immediately proved my thing uh, me wrong about that because I thought the ghost in this place because yes, that was a ghost. Uh, ooh, we're running low on these quickly. I thought you could actually see their reflections in the floor, even without the Ankh. But no, yeah, that was proven wrong there. Oh, and these ghosts are different from the ones in the crypt. Looks, look like the women. Like it's, ladies yes, or something. Yes, book of the High Tower. Welcome to the Tower of Knowledge and Wisdom. Immortalize yourself on these pages. It's reception visitors book. Okay, a bit odd Wait. that all of that is just in understandable English, but, but the names are just weird. Yeah, and I think I know what's going on. I think those ghost women have been banshees. Yep. To the stairs. That was Captain Obvious. There we go. <laughs> Okay, they're holding a candlestick. Well, they're sticking it in us, apparently. I, sticking I'm it just glad they're not screaming us to death. But... Yeah. Hi, what? Arrows no Bakid? Arrows no Bakid. Okay, there's no lock on that one. Uh, but it, I don't know, is those supposed to be names or titles since they had a high in front? 
Now, high could be the title, <laughs> which would be uh, an odd title <laughs> in these days. Yeah, like if it were high lord, sure, but just high. Like, Stairs to Sacristy. Do you see? This uh, as a sample, high Hylian. Someone might actually mistakenly think you they, uh, you're greeting them. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, using a more well German greeting, which can come off pretty badly. Oop, hello. Wait, yeah. something's not right here. What was that? Did I hear a voice? I must hurry. Okay, what is our mentor up to? Who was that? Sounded rather familiar. <laughs> you got a clear ass view of him, Melvin. Then again, he was out of he was out of uh, sight. No, of the well, <laughs> he was out of sight uh, compared to the screen of the game. So, I guess in that way you could call it uh, a bit of the <laughs> the in-game world fitting with uh, yeah the game mechanics or rather game limitations. Oh dear. Let's see. These don't have anything in them. Okay. Well, can you only be Damn, a lot to add. Okay, these ghosts are a lot meaner because they show up instantly on us. They don't give us a moment of it to intercept them. Let's see. Vulpet study. <clears throat> And Dagomar study. Okay, so he was important enough to have his entire his own entire study. It's, yeah, they really should have hung these lower. Conference and dining room. Then again, Dago uh, Dagomar's people are a lot taller, so it makes sense. Of, it makes sense for them to be hung up higher. Heal. Uh, there we go. Good boy. Who's a good human? Who's a good human? Uh, who is, could also throw a certain lizard into the gears of the ship? <laughs> well, um, what a lovely one we have here. Western conference room and uh, hello, glow in the dark skeleton. Eastern conference room and what is this? The southern. Oh, it reminds me. Uh, I had an idea. But we we, we, did, we did say Hildrig does sound a bit like an old name for a ship. Yeah. Unless it's a land ship. What if we use Hildrig as the name of our main port? Or main harbor or such? Yeah, that could work, but we'd still need a ship name then. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So uh, we could go true. with Sea Drake then. Yeah, the Sea Drake it could work. Or Sea Dragon. And the Hill Drake be the main harbor. Work in progress, people. It's work in progress. Yeah. And yes. I so far just having fun with making up a fun random lore that maybe be canon? Who knows? Like Hillian the Alchemist Pirate Captain. <laughs> The creator of the eight C. <laughs> he actually uh, blew up well. a piece of land. <laughs> well, that uh, uh, pretty candle. I'm guessing we could call them librarians or something because it. Yep. Like those are rapers. Yep. And I'll be good. He has not made like the eight C. Don't worry. Okay, um... Let's see. 
I think we're going to need to light up all the torches around the place. So let's get to work on that. Yeah, we should probably be careful not to waste these too much. Hmm. Yeah, there's, there's definitely going to be a puzzle where we need to have certain ones lit and other ones extinguished. But we'll find that... Well, when we'll find that. <laughs> For now, we can only just keep exploring. And hope we find something to continue on with. And yeah, we haven't gone this way yet. So I'm going back to the hammer because that probably also means that there's enemies here that we haven't squished yet. Case in point. Yep. Uh, stop! Hammer time! I think... I'm pretty sure we've heard that enemy noise before. Yeah, but the yeah, the pitch has just been changed a bit. But it would make sense, yes. It, it, it is ghostly skeletons now. Yeah. And that is all we can access at the moment. So... Let's keep looking a bit more for torches to light. Hopefully I am... Yeah, I'm... I'm not just wasting arrows with this. And if nothing happens, we'll have to go back and look for somewhere else. And right, Let's put... Wait, you have limited amount of those elemental arrows? Yep. That's kind of bad if they are needed for puzzles. I'm pretty sure enemies can drop them as well, though. All right, that's good. But still, it, it, it does sort of otherwise like a bad mechanic. Yeah. Like, a good way for making people get stuck. Uh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Hold on! Look at the table. Yeah. What do you see? Golden, <laughs> golden cutlery and some plates. Yeah! Bloody posh! <laughs> and I'm pretty. I, I just hope those are gilded and not made of solid gold. Uh, gold would not ever be solid, really. It's soft metal. This would be the problem. Would you really want a knife that keeps bending or a fork that get, keeps bending as well? Uh, no, and only now you call these people gaudy after seeing all of the gold work they've already put all over the place. <laughs> Not the I mean, thing it is a little bit posh, but now the poshness is just too much. Hmm. Like, I, I would expect them to at least at least have normal cutlery, but nope, gold as well. Let's see. Okay, there isn't actually anywhere else to go. Except for back outside. Though I don't really think we really need to go back out. But let's go take a look if there's anything we've missed all the same. There might be something hidden outside to, well, tell us more about what to do inside here. And if the, if, if the thing we need to do is light that one freaking torch there... We can do that when we go back inside. Yeah. Okay. To the north is an area that can still be explored, hopefully. We don't need to go quite a bit around. So let's speed this up with the speed boots. And oh, we're already here. Let's see anything hidden here? Or is this all just decoration? Decoration it is. Wait, what? What is decoration? Yeah, there's nothing in there. So, yeah. <laughs> Bit of a waste of time. I, I missed that one. I, I, I was just about to turn around and uh, blow my nose. Ah, 
Run! Well, he became me chunks. There we go. Oop. Are those snow goblins? I guess. And all of that for just one mana potion. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think there's going to be anything of use out here. So let's head back in and try and figure out what the hell we need to do. Actually, I think I have an idea of what we might need to do, and it's stupid again. Because it's the same solution the last time we got stuck in a door. Just try to freaking open it manually without a key. It, yeah, <laughs> that's something rather stupid, isn't it? We've gotten so used to needing freaking keys to open stuff up that we don't try them out <laughs> at all. Is that really stupid more of you not to... thinking ahead or something? No, it's... Yeah, it's more a muscle memory thing. Like, if, if you expect something to not work, then you stop trying it. Ah. Okay, at least we have the boots to speed things up a bit. There is something in there that we want from the look of it. Okay, that one's not opening. But this one does. Okay, what is this? Belladonna. Okay. Which I believe is a flower that can be quite poisonous to the wrong... Well, it can be made into a poison at the very least. Let's see. With all the bad luck we've had in the last few days, I'm convinced we have a traitor among us. The enemy appears to find out too much by chance. Uh, find out too much by chance. But who in the world could the traitor be? Must be one of our leaders. At dawn on the seventh day of war, we were able to win back the fort over the river Bahanra and Baharan. The great dragon Archon has asked uh, his siblings to assist us in the forthcoming great battle against the evil creatures. We hope Yarkoth, uh, Yarkon and Yorkon will soon arrive at the tower. Uh, what Are was the name of the bone dragon again? Hmm? The, the dragon sounds almost like some cheesy version of Mongolians. With a bone con. Yeah. Uh, I think the bone dragon's name was something like Urkon or something. Urron, -ur more like. Urron. Okay, so can they have some they... past this? I hope so. But they do somehow nope, have some through. variation of the names. Yeah. The uh, Khan is probably the clan name um, or something. Hmm. Now, how do we get across this? Or do we need the Belladonna for something? Let's see. No description. Hmm. Do we check any of these? Nope. No, we can't move that. Hmm. Okay, so we found one answer only to be stuck with another question. Or rather, the same question. since we've used this. I'm getting sort of the feeling that we might be dealing with invisible floors or something. Or invisible bridges. Hmm. Okay. And what else can we do with the stuff that we can reach from here? Which, well, isn't really much, if anything. We got the Belladonna, but we don't know what we need that for. Hmm. 
Hmm. I'm missing something here. Okay, it's clear that we need to end up in... <laughs> <laughs> you look okay. yourself to blame. Anyways. Three days ago, our positions in the plains of Thun fell. Huge, de no, huge demons came out of the ground, breathing fire. Although the earth had been sealed with magic spells, the monsters found a way around our magic and surfaced in our very midst. Only a few of us survived. It smells of treachery within the ranks. Okay, there are rather quickly to turn to treachery or to turn to accusations of treachery dear ex execur vulpus please find here with a crate of combined potions as per your recent order please note that the potions should be used before the expir expiry date printed on the top of the crate we hope you'll be entirely satisfied with these products now yours sincerely kr ron magician wait wasn't that the dragon uh, no, that sound that sounded more like uh, one of the names from these people here. Uh, the, the dragon names are more. Uh, I don't even see why a dragon would send a mage a bunch of potions. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. We've got a copper key, but I don't think I've seen another copper lock. That's yeah. There's a gold lock here. We can't open this, but we should be able to get up here somewhere. Or oh, I see what we need to do. I, did I did I overlook that grapple point the entire time? You didn't notice that. Or wait. There's too much... No, that's from here. So how do we get to there, then? Okay, I yeah, I, I thought you. for a moment... I thought for a moment we had to grapple from here to here. But no, there's no grapple point there. So how do we get... Oh, that's how we get in there. Okay. Hooray! Yep. Finally progress! All right, um, then we can cross here, and from here we can cross to the other study, or the other conference room. Uh, let's see, there's more books in here, and I believe that is a switch up there. I yep. Yes, we have something. Who designed this place to be able to walk up Whoa. Give me a second. I just, I just noticed that I forgot to hide the background with that. So there was a... There was just a word floating next to my head here. Okay, oh. I did not notice that. Uh, okay, this is one of these that needs to be held down. Okay. Wait, Luckily we have this. Okay. So, question is... Is that a bag in the box? Okay, if that's a reference, I'm missing it. It is. It's a reference to a very annoying song. Hmm. Let's see if I remember it. It's a bag in box. It's a bag in box. It's a bag in box. <laughs> it's basically about wine. A scout reported that the giant spiders have taken possession of the Great Forest and the caves in the south of Gothos. During a reconnaissance uh, flight, one of the dragons discovered a goblin fort about 30 shark miles west of here. Okay. So that might be where that spider from the caves, uh, from the, yeah, from the hive came from. Hmm. Okay, we can use all the small healing potions that we can get our hands on. Come on. Now, where... 
there's a box here, but where does that need to go? Get more books. Some of the imprisoned goblins have told us that an old one named Ramogad, who apparently had worked with them, uh, he informed the goblin leader of the weak points in the defenses. It won't be too long before we find out who is betraying us. Who is Ramogad anyway? None of us bear heirs or has heard of this name. Today, no shark live near Helmut Towers. They have all withdrawn to an area to the east of the Great Volcano. Okay, means they are not native to the volcanic land then. Yeah. It, it could be that... Hmm, maybe they're all just dealing with a sort of ash lung thing uh, or something. Yeah, might be why they have the napkins. To avoid inhaling the whole ash problem. Yeah. Now, where do we bring that box? Yeah, you wouldn't put that there without a reason. Wait. Wait, hold on, just read something. They mm -hmm. call those thi these unknown things old ones. Yeah. Um, Helia, do you understand what it means? Uh, either that they are very, very freaking old, or they're very, very freaking uh, full of themselves. Eldritch horror, Cthulhu, and such. <laughs> so yeah, you were sort of very f right to the first one. Something extremely old. Yoink. And, well, it wouldn't be a library without at least one hidden passageway in behind the bookshelf. Oh no, you, you seriously think there's a hidden pathway in every library? There are traces in the dust. It looks as though someone has recently taken something away. A bit fishy. Yeah, more a bit booky, or, well, not, rather likely more dusty, Melvin. And now we have the key to get out of here. Okay, so that took longer than it should have, but oh well. <laughs> Let's just get moving. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've done one little change with my setup, and that I've moved my camera more to uh, its own to its left. So it's not very much. It's it's a bit at the border of the screen or of the monitor so it's not too ups uh, too uh, obnoxious so i think i think i can keep it there and let's see this is obviously important somewhere so uh pen pen found pen okay so we have circle cross circle cross Pie or table symbol, circle, cross, circle, circle. Hmm. Actually, this could finally be a repeat of that <laughs> puzzle in the uh, in the dungeons of Steamer Town. Not the dungeons, the crypt of Steamer Town. But another way to, huh? Okay. I don't think we missed anything. The last thing we could do was pull that uh, lever at Dagomar, or, uh, Dagomar's study. Do we have to hopscotch something here or something? Hmm. Would it react even? It doesn't seem to be reacting. So... Hmm. What is going on then? When in doubt, blow it up. We have both of the conference rooms open. We have both of the studies open. Yep. Hello there in the chat, Snurkel. <laughs> Snurksel. Hello, Snurky. And uh, yeah, as you can see, we've made it to the tower. And I spent uh, a bit too long trying to get into freaking Dagomar's uh, study. But. Uh, 
now how the hell do we open up the gate? Hmm. And, well, this apparently shows that we didn't need it. This <laughs> We didn't need to light up all of those torches that we did. Hmm. Oh, oh hold on. I think... Speaking of set torches, four on each side. And I believe there were four on each side. Ah, so, uh, so there's a clue! Yeah, the, uh, the symbol is a table. This is the dining room. And what is typically used to depict a dining room? A table. Food. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. table, yes. Okay, so let's take a look. Assuming that the circles mean light, that means that... Turning this around so that it's facing the correct way. This first one should be left alone. And the next one should be extinguished. Assuming that the circles mean uh, light. Uh, come on, there we go. Then we head across and extingu extinguish the same one there. And then the one at the end of this row. And if that doesn't open the gate up, we know it should be invert inverted. Okay. Leave this one alone. Wait. Okay. Wrong. Put that one out. Light the next one again. And then we extinguish the next one. Okay, I I assumed that they'd be in the same... Wait, that one's out. Wait, then we have... Uh, lit. Extinguished. Are the other ones... Then two on the underside to our right should be either a light now... Hmm. What the? Oh, did I oh, get I it wrong? Warm in here. Al almost all my ice in my drink is, has already melted, and my drink doesn't even feel as very cool anymore. Okay, let's double check. These two are lit. This one is extinguished. Okay, it is the inverse. So, that one out. This one lit, and then the next two out again. <laughs> Order. Let's see, can I get them both with a one arrow? Yes, I can. <laughs> well done. Okay, then the one at the corner here should be lit. Oh dear. Mm. Oh yeah. But if you remember, for those wondering what the back box is, to run is basically a box with a wine bag inside. And yeah, people are talking about it. But it, it, it not is, like that. It is box wines. Okay. Just Don't inside you. a box wine is a bag where the wine is inside. Hence the term bag in box. There we go. Okay, <laughs> so we were in the middle of the freaking uh, torch puzzle the entire time there. Okay, at least we weren't stuck on that for like half an hour. So let's just move on. Actually, how I should probably just equip these. From 1 to 10, how, what will you score Hillian here, uh, Snotshell? <clears throat> he do a good job? <laughs> I thought I, I thought I got rid of all of those already. Maybe that will spawn yep. after you finish the puzzle. Could be, and it could just be that those sp get spawned to uh, allow you to get more arrows. And I'm, I'm guessing he mends one, uh, one of to ten in uh, speedrunnery. <laughs> uh, more of skill. Uh, or swords, in this case. 
I'm the guardian of the books here. I can't tell you my name. I must have forgotten it. I assume you want to enter the library. Everyone wants to. I will open the door for you, but you must do me a favor first. I have lost my spectacles. Do you know what I mean? You will find them for me, won't you? I assume they're somewhere here in the tower. You're right. Last time I wore my spectacles was at my burial, and that was quite some time ago now. Also, uh, um, was that an ominous mist, ominous mist of skulls around him? Oh, and where did we end up? <coughs> okay, we ended up here. Hmm. Okay, where the hell are we going to find a pair of glasses in it? Actually, oh, this is, we can go here now. To the <laughs> basement. And yeah, where in a tower would you bury corpses in the basement? Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. huh? yep. The question is that you're asking yeah. about. Did, uh, oh, he, he means the speed run. Uh, I haven't oh. gotten to it yet, sadly. Uh, and well, I'm not going to watch the entirety since, well, I don't want to spoil myself on things I might have forgotten with this. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to avoid it to avoid spoilers. Let's see. How to conjure up ghosts. Would you know how to, uh, would you like to know how to call up ghosts? Ritual for conjuring up the Council of Wise Ones. To conjure up the Council of Wise Ones, those who have researched and studied in this tower during their lifetime, follow these instructions. Ashes, link to living with the dead. Belladonna, a twig of this induces deep insight. A black pearl unites all with magic. Black pearls are found on the north coast of Gothos. It is, however, essential that the pearl be a perfect, yeah, perfect sphere. Put all these ingredients in a vessel at the feet of the circle of statues and place the conjuring book on the lectern. Speak your wish loudly and clear, and the Council of Wise Ones will appear. Last bit rhymed, even. I put a twig of belladonna in the bowl. Okay, so we're going to perform a bit of Satanism and call for the, the undead. Are you gonna carry a ship? And what the? Um. Guessing that's this world's version of a lich? Might be. Uh, let's see. Stairs to crypt. Okay. Yep. Hello. Ah, there you are. And okay, yeah, those are faces no, around him. No, that's not right. They're all in the wrong order still. Well, really. Really, the janitor's ghost is still around? Oh dear. Oh dear. Now I'll have to sort them all. <laughs> okay, I, for a moment I thought that was the librarian again, and that shut the door on us. Okay. Oh! So, I'm guessing we have to push all of them forwards. Okay, yeah, those ghosts are annoying. Okay, and this one... Is he going to get annoyed again? Um... Now that looks better. It's good to know everything's ship shape. <laughs> I'm getting so, so tempted to just take all of the face pictures from this game and try to turn them into channel emotes. <laughs> uh, be because, yeah, that one just looks absolutely done with everything. <laughs> 
Okay, uh, a seal of uh, a wall of screaming souls. Totally not the work of uh, very, very dark magics. <laughs> Oop. And there's another one of those. There we go. Ooh, a switch. And a switch which seals us in. Oh, wait, there's a torch. Yeah, it's not turning off anymore. So I'm guessing the torch is the way out. Imagine getting here and then you've run out of fire arrows. Yeah, that would be horrible. Oh. Uh, okay, it just teleports us back. <laughs> that's that, one wasted arrow. No, we, st we don't know still if we need to have them lit or not. So it's probably better to just lead them until we know. There we go. Then we swap that. And we teleport away again. You could... Wait, what? Hmm? Uh, reset. You could still use Fireball. Wait, I... I could... That actually makes... Yeah, that actually makes sense in trying to light these up. Let's actually take a quick look. Yeah, that also works. <laughs> But why has fire arrows? Well, it doesn't waste mana, but still. And well, at this point, you'll probably have the mana regen either way, no matter how what you've put your points into. So that that actually works as a, a, a that actually works as a good backup. Yeah. That was very smart of the designers. I. So also vodka. Yeah, Ice Claw. Oop. Did I just hear... Yeah, I Ice Claw. I spell he meant. <laughs> yeah. Try to breathe when you type. So I have oh, not come heard on. of myself. Okay. Here we go. Run this little toes! Run! This one. Yeah, just too late. Okay. But this time we can use the boots. So, actually, these are finally required for something. Uh-oh. Run! There run, we go. Melvin, run! <laughs> uh, what? Did I actually... How did I manage this? Uh, we're not in a level up, but... Oh, I see. I got the level up just as I hit the key to open up the inventory, and I thought I got on the game glitch or something. Or is this? Yeah. There we... <laughs> okay. Uh, I accidentally put one point into Constitution already there. <laughs> okay. Swap these out again. And wait for the cooldown. So, yeah, like two levels, two levels later, the speed boots are actually required. What the heck? Hmm? It's a Swedish. <laughs> <laughs> and he failed. Uh, what? What? Um, okay. What did you attempt to say, and what does it? What he said translate to then? <laughs> Wait, that doesn't look well, healthy. Basically, translate to devilish uh, pussy. <laughs> there is basically, basically a way to call someone a bloody coward. Uh, graves of the Depar beloved departed. And it's it's pronounced yeah. Uh, you know what? No, I I don't like to swear, especially not that one. For I, this is what I don't use. You know the the way they, you know these the way these reapers are holding their sights. They look more like brooms. 
No, no, it looks more like they're using the site in the correct manner. Nope, that, these things again? You, you're supposed to hold the site to the ground. Yeah, it is a farming tool after all. Yeah, no, in this case it looks more like they're about to... Um, castrate you. With the size. Okay. Uh, Oh, it might be Gothenburg accent then you're writing in. Yeah, learning from PewDiePie. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going yeah, to question your from... choice of tutor. <laughs> PewDiePie is from uh, Gothenburg. Or oh, as we Swedes say, Göteborg. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it sounds like you said Jute Boy there. Jöter Boy. Jöter okay. is actually the Swedish for golf. So, I, so PewDiePie is a golf. Okay, got it. Uh, I, I, I have to look up, but I think it's called that due to there were many golfs that moved over there or something. Hence the name. Hmm? But I may have to double check it. I wouldn't be surprised if he dressed up as a goth at one point or another. And if not, then there's probably uh, fan art of him like that. Yeah, uh, I actually wait, no. Hmm? I should remember, we, had a, we have an area called Götaland, so it probably what that, that's what it's called. I think just English, the English people that uh, gave it a bit of misleading name in English as Gothenburg. Okay. Let's see, another dead end. A bit literal and figurative. Okay, so we need a key to progress, but the key is behind a gate that needs to be opened somehow. And I'm not going to randomly shoot torches again. So... We couldn't open the rightmost, but we can open this one. And there's a lever in here. Oop. I'm Are guessing that opened the next. Again? Yeah, that opened this one from I, because I heard a soft click there. Yeah, change the boots. Here we go. No. Nope, I missed it. I should actually look at it. Should still be fast enough. Yep. Just fast enough. <laughs> Almost got thrown out. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, it has been a very long time since I've seen a video of PewDiePie's. Mostly because, yeah, he just got on my nerves. Freaking ambush. Yeah, I used to find it annoying, but then I actually found it a bit amusing during his. Uh amnesia videos and such, but then I found it annoying again or just boring. But it was when he just stopped playing games altogether and I I did no, not know what to do with make of his content at all now back then. He had some entertaining Minecraft videos, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, I think I first ran into his stuff uh, on some of his horror videos. Same way I ran into Markiplier stuff, I think. Uh, yeah. I think I ran into him before he started with FNAF and all. And uh, uh, what? Yeah, same. Uh, or... I did the same with Markiplier. So, uh, I, I found the accepted guy thanks to a to PewDiePie and Markiplier. Okay, it was this door that opened up. Yeah, do I need to go do the, all of that again now? No, oh, this dear. one's open, and this one's oh, yeah. still open. Okay. I, I know, I remember I saw a video with PewDiePie and Yaxepti but Yaxepti was very new. But after that, shout out PewDiePie gave him in that video. 
it helped him bloom. It helped him to be stubborn, and from there, he grew a lot. Yeah, I still watch uh, some of Jack's videos from time to time. Same, I usually watch them regularly. There but, we go. Uh, he has been very irregular with the, the uploads and such, but then again, he has almost been overworking. Yeah. His duty finally takes break. And also, no, I'm not saying PewDiePie is the reason Jacksepticeye is famous now. Do I do think it gave a little helping push. Yeah. Black Pearl. Okay. Uh oh. So that's two ingredients down. Uh oh. Uh, where will we be finding the where where will we find the ashes then? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Something's wrong here. What? No, Jack you know, Sparrow. There it is. <laughs> I was wondering. Is he gonna do a joke about the Black Pearl? Really? Uh, and the joke was that I did it, so uh, you were confused, so you became the joke. But you say saying I'm a joke? Uh, the Are you calling me a joke? Uh, maybe. Uh, why is well, the... Someone's oh, gonna be missing toes tonight. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll just sleep with the uh, steel-toed boots then. <laughs> see, if, see if you can chew your way through that. Who said I need to chew? Power oh, tools. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, one way to wake up. You need power, power tools so into your boots. Okay, I'm going to so make a picture of your avatar with power tools now. <laughs> I, I was thinking about making a technical difficulties uh, screen uh, with, uh, well, you stuck in the gears, but now we can have you stuck in the gears with <laughs> power tools. Don't forget the most important part, Hylian. Hmm? Sandwich. <laughs> Okay. Oh gosh, I just had an idea. For mm -hmm. uh, maybe we stream Deep Rock. You just have the waiting screen with with me, with short footage of the, my face onto uh, the Dwarven Gunner, and a <laughs> extra footage with a sandwich in the mouth. <laughs> That could work, eh? Yep. Hey? Uh, why did I turn the Canadian? <laughs> okay, this should bring us... Yep, here we go. Knock, knock. Or more... Rattle, rattle. I believe I found your spectacles. Oh, my spectacles. You've made me more than happy. At last, I can browse through all these books again. Allow me to open the door for you. My name is is right. I have recently found this strange red crystal uh -oh. here. I'm sure it has magical powers, because it's as though it actively resists remaining in my pocket. It's better I give it to you. You seem to have a way with strange artifacts, or am I mistaken? Okay, uh, we're going to have to... <laughs> yeah, it's going to be flashing again, so anyone who might be uh, susceptible uh, susceptible to epilepsy, uh, you might want to look away until the noise stops. So, three, two, one... I knew it. All the crystals belong together, 
and the four of them activate the Old One's machine. These priests must be Old Ones, just like Dagumar. If only I knew where the machine was, and, above all, what influence the falling rings have on the energetic magma. If the magma powers the machine, it will soon cease functioning because there's precious little of it about, apart from what I found in the canyon. It looks as though I've got all the crystals, but I still don't know where to take them. It can really only be Helmataros, the ancient capital of the Old Ones. There must be maps of Old Gotha somewhere. Oh, how I wish Talus were here. Then we could work this out together. Okay, that did Now, help. my young friend, welcome to the Tower of Knowledge. I'd better leave you to your own devices. Goodbye. And with one last flash, he freaks off. <laughs> Yay! And how? When did he figure out Dagomar was an old one? Yep, yeah, well, Dagomar... No, he didn't name himself as such, but... Yeah, he's he looks the closest to uh, yeah the old ones, or <clears throat> or at least to the priests in his uh, vision compared to everything else. The only one that otherwise looks somewhat like Dagomar was that Hildbrand, or Hill. B what was his name again? The Bullyforth. Bullyforth. <laughs> yeah, Bullyforth. What? <laughs> it's, it sounds like a British explorer name. Okay. I beg your pardon, good sir. <laughs> uh, wait, why did I go British myself? <laughs> Am I slowly going insane with you and the Finns? Yeah, who said anything about going? <laughs> Who's to say you aren't already? Well, I'm already insane. I might as well. Uh... I don't know what to do. What is that? Ah, uh, there you Let me interrupt your reading. There we go. He had an arrow. Why did the Lich have an arrow? Because he used to be an adventurer like you. <laughs> Until he got an arrow to the knee. I'm just gonna... Just... just go, go... Go further away to... To the other side of the room. Far away. Hello. Does this sound like I'm far away? <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. One of the most important uses of the tower is as the home of the Council of Undead Wise Ones. The Council exists in a state between life and death and with the proper methods can be summoned by any old one. The Wise Ones will then use their combined knowledge to assist the old one who calls them. Okay. Hmm. So basically, they summon forth, well, the mo their most knowledgeable people, and use them as base, sort of an undead computer. And hello. Okay. Candle goes out, and something clicked. Oh, and now we're stuck. Uh, who's TMR study? Oh, hello. And goodbye. Another way to open this one. Another way to open this one. You symbias study? And another one to open. And come on. Marok study. Marok. And Aurelia study. Is this going to be the only one that just opens? No. Okay. Uh, come on. Light opens the gate to the initiated. Okay, that's as clear as can be. So what we need to do. Yep, one of them opens. Uh, back to the hammer. Hmm. For some reason, I remember that 
weapon circle being a getting a lot bigger. Uh, but yeah, with Melvin talking about maps there for a bit, that actually reminded me that there is a map of Gothos in the manual. Oh? And yeah, I have it right in front of me. And let's see. It does... It, it is a bit small, if it is the entirety of... Okay, it does say Gothos at the... Under, uh, at the bottom of it, so I guess Gothos is just a very small continent. But yeah, uh, since I'll likely have, yeah, you know, since I'll have to edit this ep uh, this uh, when it goes on to YouTube, anyways, because of the flashing, uh, I'll also put up a. Uh, I'll also try to remember to put up a map in somewhere on the screen here of it as well, uh, probably at the bottom for a bit. To uh, yeah, just show that off. It is. It isn't colored. It is just black and well, gray. But yeah, that will give a bit of a show of how this uh, world is formed, or this continent at least. Anyways, the use of weapons in the capital city. Apart from the guard and soldiers, no one may carry a weapon at any time in Helma Towers. All right. There's some rules. It kind of makes sense. Yeah. And that opened another. For a moment of thought, you were about to accidentally shoot the books with the <laughs> bow. Oop. Actually, I'll just knock your head in with. Come on, Melvin, aim. There we go. Uh, can we read this? Note, during the next moon cycle, we must definitely go to the Sacricity and conjure up the previous Council of the Wise Ones. Is this anything we can read? No, but we can try to set the table on, light, <laughs> on fire. And then... Uh, yes. I'm getting nervous to uh, ever let Helian near a library. The effects of magical power on crystals. Do you want to know more about this? Some crystals on Gothos have magical or mystical uh, properties. Uh, these crystals of eternity, officially named now, are created by the wisest of our magicians. Uh, once every 40 moon decade, moon decades. Okay, so, okay, so I'm guessing a moon cycle. No, that still doesn't make sense with the fairies and all sorts. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to stop guessing at how the time in this works. Once every 40 moon decades, not cycles, they assemble secretly in the laboratories of the tower to make the crystals. During this time, no one else is allowed in the tower except for Archon, the great dragon prince. He alone sits on top of the tower, surveying the landscape, forbidding entry to the tower until the ceremony is over. Crystals made in this way are the most powerful and precious tools in this world. Whoever is granted permission to use them can feel their power just by touching them. Okay. What's up? Hmm. And... Uh, wait. You can lit. Can, well, wait, wait, that makes sense, I guess. And that opened this up, I'm guessing. So let's swap back to the hammer before we're ambushed. It's hammer time! Oh, more ghosts. No from Book of War the dispatches. I believe that's supposed to be an eye, I'm guessing. Uh, would you like to read more? Honored Exocar of Ulpeth, my warriors and I are holding a position in the Great Forest, not far from the river Beharan, where small flying women were recently sighted. But that is by the by. Day and night we are involved in skirmishes, but morale is pretty good. All my warriors have passed the four tests and are fighting as would be expected of them. However, our supplies of mana stones are dwindling rapidly, and I therefore request urgent replenishments. Your servant, Vandahan, warrior. Okay, so these old ones knew... Well, actually didn't know about the fairies, apparently. 
Okay. Letter from the disciple Darnthes to his wife. Uh, would you like to read this letter? I'm guessing he did his darndest uh, to get this to him, her. Come on! <laughs> My beloved wife, uh, we have not seen each other for three moon cycles now, and in view of the things that face us, I can't say when or if we will meet again. The fighting has come close to the watchtowers of Helmataros, and up here in the Tower of Wisdom we can hear cries and screams of battle. We are working tirelessly on the shield generator. It will again banish all the evil back to where it came from. Dragon messengers are flying back and forth between the City of Light and the Tower, bringing the plans to the Temple Compound, where the Great Shield is under construction. My beloved, I want you to go on hoping that there will be light at the end of these dark days, and that we will soon lie in each other's arms again. All my love, Darntus. The shield generator? Could that be... Yeah, that's that's probably that device that we keep seeing visions about. But Possibly. if it was active before, wait, that's why the creatures, that's why the beasts are returning. The generator failed. Order to the tunneler, says, the great generator is almost complete, but we need a constant supply of magma. We therefore urge you to speed up the extraction process in the mine. So that's why they that's why they upped the quota. Okay, everything was being everything was being led to this great shield generator. Okay. May also explain we we saw some of that magma early on in the story. Yeah, it, the the power supply ran out, I'm guessing. And might even be sabotaged. You need a steel key. Uh, he does not. Could be. There is talk of a traitor, but could just be that they're failing in st strategy. Okay, I can somewhat identify that emote. <laughs> I can't. I believe it's that uh, holding your head because of a headache uh, thing or something. Or a big brain moment. So he's either praising us or saying we are stupid. <laughs> History of the shark face cloths. Would you like to read more? Okay, I yes, please. Yes, I definitely missed all of this shit the first few times that I played through this game. Let's see. The face cloths of the shark. When the shark. Uh, now, uh, we're looking for a new home they came upon a volcano. I think we can see where this is leading. The poisonous fumes and vapors so blinded their eyes and irritated their scaly throats that they seriously considered turning back. Suddenly, a bat-like creature f flew into their leader's face and was and stuck there. Okay, that sounds like a, a very odd origin story for Batman. <laughs> Uh, the creature's leathery wings were wonderful protection against the poisons in the air, so the shark traders made face cloths out of coarse material to wear uh, over their mouths and noses, as they do to this day. Oh, so it does not have anything to do with their source, <laughs> with their, <laughs> uh, with their mucus problems. <laughs> hmm. Oh, hello. The Art of Decoration of Gothos. Would you like to read about this? The artwork and interior decor of the Old Ones are inspired by the power that drives their systems. Sleek curved gold ornamentation and flowing lines dominate the Old One style, mirroring the properties of the constant flow of blue magma which powers all the Old Ones machines and equipment. Even the mines and power stations of the Old Ones suggest an intellectual appearance. Wherever one finds golden curved and flowing lines and ornamentation in Gothos, one has chanced upon a relic from the height of this impressive ancient culture. Wait. This this doesn't make much sense. Or wait, they're calling themselves ancient. They, they call themselves old ones. So yeah, they've been around for a long ass time, so it is it is full of themselves to call themselves ancient, but 
it is also in a way kind of fitting. Yeah, but the, it, it seems almost like it was written after the downfall. Uh, not exactly. It it could be read that way, but it could also just be, uh, yeah, them bragging about their stuff. Hmm. Okay, so with this staircase, we can get up into that area. So let's give that wait, a shot. Wait, I saw something there. Go back. Look at this decoration from another angle. It looks like a bit of a. It's freeing up, people. It's freeing <laughs> up. Behold, yeah. a naked, topless harpy! And um, if you squint a bit, you can even see the freaking nipples. <laughs> and just for that up. word, instant demonetation. <laughs> uh, I think you can say nipples. Uh, okay. It failed again. Wait. Correct on what, uh, schnutzel. Oh, st schnutzel. Uh, schnutzel. Th that name is hard for me to read and pronounce. Okay, am I missing something or... I managed to do it earlier. Now let, let's skip this for now and head for that other staircase. So we don't hang around for too long on this. Hmm. The stair. What's that? I must hide. Right. Move aside, you beast, or I'll. Um, you're kind of supposed to give them the chance to move aside first. <laughs> I'm okay. The, the, the. Dagomar. Interesting. That looked very much like Dagomar, my mentor from the canyon. If he thinks Talus's fall is my fault, then he's greatly mistaken. I'll save her. Anyway, there must be something of interest at the end of this balcony. Otherwise, he wouldn't be there. Uh, why why do you even think he suspects you caused her to fall down? I, he was saying that he was keeping an eye on the two of them. But uh, I, I guess Melvin is jumping to conclusions about that. Because, well, he did say he was watching over them. Well, so much for being the oh, <laughs> mighty techno mage if you caused your first girlfriend to... Almost plummet, or yeah, to almost plummet to her death on the first freaking date. Yeah. Uh, uh, wait, what? Something uh, in the chat here? No, yeah, well, it was his fault. He means that it was Melvin's fault. Uh, only if he really th yeah, think about if it would have happened the same if he let her cross first. But didn't she tell him to cross first? <laughs> I think she did. Um, <laughs> he cracked the <laughs> oh. I think it was the quake that did that. Uh, though that might have been uh, Melvin <laughs> stomping around. <laughs> uh. Knowledge of the Beings, Volume 1. Would you like to read more? Trolls live in the great forest divided by the river Baharam. Uh, there are four known tribes, tree trolls, meadow trolls, bridge trolls, unique among troll tribes, and moss trolls. The bridge trolls live by the Fairy Oath Law, which ha was drawn up by Grunius von Troll. <laughs> okay, that's a name. Unfortunately, very little is known of these fairies. Okay, so they knew about them, they just didn't know much about them. And hello there in the chat, uh, Ozum LP, or uh, 
Let's see. But it was Talos' thick hips which break the bridge. <laughs> and internet throws not to forget. <laughs> and welcome, Osmal. Yeah, Osmal? I think it, Osmal, I think it's supposed. <laughs> Okay. Well, welcome regardless. <laughs> uh, yeah, welcome to the show. Uh, oh, we won't bore you. Yep. Freaking ambush ghosts. <laughs> and yeah, I hope you'll enjoy what you'll see here. And speaking of enjoying what you see, I do like that they added in these books that stick, uh, stick out to let you know that there is lore to find there instead of having to, well, click on every bookcase to see if there's a new book there or not yeah. with the but, but, mysterious but, 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 languages but, 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 and stuff. You look, look past one. Uh, I, this is you the see? one we just passed, I think. Yeah, Volume no. of the Beings. Oops. My bad. Seen it. Okay, I just... <laughs> I just walked past this opening here. There's another. Volume 2. Undead beings. Skeletons exist in living and non-living forms. My <clears throat> pardon about that. Uh, skeletons that move about like living beings on Gothos are mostly evil and dangerous. However, whether they are evil and with malicious intent depends on their origin. For example, the skeleton of a dragon possesses the wisdom and intelligence of its previous incarnation whereas the skeleton of a human is sadly resurrected with no knowledge of its former existence. The latter are therefore much more susceptible to evil influences, which often take possession of them. Okay. Uh, let's hey, that's see. interesting. Uh, yo, Snork Axel, I tried to help somebody, but we have a problem we don't get fixed. I mean, it works, but the top screen is slightly cut off and the DX uh, window doesn't work somehow uh, right for him. Yeah, yeah, DX window can be a pain at times. It is very useful, but sometimes it just doesn't want to work. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, da -da -da. Mm -hmm. I guess if horror eyes can't help, that person is doomed not to play the game. Now, what game are you two talking about then? And okay, I was half expecting this thing to lash out. Yes, same. It looks suspicious. Uh. <laughs> oh, techno major. Uh, I'm. Ooh. Aha! What have we got here? Wedged between the books, a scroll for a magic lightning bolt. Great! Dagomar must have left this here for me. The old devil. Sometimes I get the feeling he's my playmate, not my mentor. But hey, at least the lightning bolt is a first-class piece of kit. Okay, Melvin with his uh, plus 10 perception. <laughs> uh. I mean, but I think he's getting a little bit full of himself. Yeah. And, okay, that's a bit odd to hear. Uh, I'm running a retail, yeah, one of the, uh, I'm just running the retail version from a disc. So, yeah, w getting your hands on that would, of course, be a lot harder these days. But, yeah, it, hmm. Not much I can help there, then, sorry. Let's see. Diary entry. We'll meet uh, three uh, goblin leaders tomorrow morning on the top of the Securian Hill. However, I must proceed with caution. I think that Exegar Volpet already suspects me of being the traitor. Okay. And no book here. Hmm. And nothing else here. And, yeah, now we have a lightning bolt. So... Not wrong, wrong button. There. Well, there we go. <laughs> Which is the I same... Know exact... oh. I, was say, I know exactly what to say once you hit something with it. Shocking, right? Uh, what? <laughs> no? What, what was... 
shocking, right? Shocking, right? Because they get shocked by the electricity. You wish not that one. Sorry. Okay, uh... Hmm. I didn't hear a noise there. I think I did. Okay. Uh, except for the, the fireball hitting the window, or the window, the wall, that is. I think I just heard a click. But hmm. not, but nothing else beside that. Okay, we'll just have to see if that noise wasn't there before. Hmm. Let's see. We've got... Actually, there's no reason for us to get into here from there, because we've already been in there, I think. Um... Hmm. Let's see. Could that have opened up the gate? No, we need a steel key for that gate. And... We found a steel key. I completely missed where we picked that one up then. Uh, uh, do you read the sign? Give me a sec. There we go. Um, exit to the laboratories. Okay. So, uh -oh. sounds like we're going to get into some Frankenstein shit. Uh-oh. <laughs> it means Helian can get the, his hand on potions. <laughs> we doomed. There we go. Try not to blow up half the ship again. Hmm. Uh, um... Is he trying to play casual or speedrunning? I guess both. I mean, he is a speedrunning friend. Damn, you should join the DC and show the problem, but it seems Hillian has the same problem like uh, him where the top is slightly cut off. Uh, that might be more because I have uh, I have OBS cutting off a bit of the top of the screen, uh, because otherwise you'd be seeing, well, the... Uh... Actually, I might as well just show that for a second. Give me a moment. Uh, Technomage... Transform, edit transform, crop the top a bit less. And yeah, there's the yellow bar. Actually, now that you mention it, it, on the map here, it does look like a bit is cut off because this compass is, yeah, has the top cut off. Huh. Okay. Wait, are you tell me you did not notice that earlier? Nope. When you were in the same menu and all? <laughs> uh, no, because it, it, for me it's always been that way, so <laughs> I guess I just... Uh, yeah, the same way that people stop hearing certain stuff they keep constantly hearing, I just grew blind to it. But, uh, yeah, that's the thing. Normally there is a bit more screen. I guess you two use Windows 10. I'm pretty sure this has always been like this, but then again, it has been a very, very long time since the last time I played, so I could be misremembering things. Hmm. Yeah, there, yeah, why am I going there? I need to change this one. Now, let's see how this works on the undead. Yep. Well, it doesn't work when I try to force it through metal, that's for certain. Okay, shortcut open. That probably leads back to the main room. At least you didn't transform me to Bob Ross. And, and you've been thunderstruck! <laughs> uh, that actually, with us using a hammer and lightning, you I guess you could call us Thor at the moment. <laughs> Grow well, first. I think that... uh, you, first, you need a... Hair color change, you need a red beard and a red hair. A, 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 red, a red hair? What the heck is with me? So, I need to go... Uh, Melvin needs to go uh, find and decapitate somebody then. <laughs> okay. Uh, no, no, I mean, he needs to change his hair color red. And yes, we have rules talking about the fool being a redhead. And have a big red beard. 
So a blown four is actually very inaccurate. Yeah. And hmm. I yeah, it seems that the lightning bolt spell is actually weaker than the meteor's power. Actually, Meteor Shower also uses up a lot more mana, though. So, yeah, I guess it could be more proportional. Uh, just less damage, but also less mana use. But we have, I'd say, plenty of mana potions to replenish what we use. Yeah, hopefully. And iron Key... All right, and then we just go back up here. I, I do have to say, whose idea is to have that kind of mirror-like floor? A very dedicated janitor. There's some ash here on the floor, but without a container, I can't gather it up. Uh, okay. How about a pocket? If, if those are someone's ashes, it'd be a bit disrespectful to carry them There's around in your pocket. The door. Uh, Only true. truly wise men can open this portal. Hmm. Oh. Okay, so we're lacking something. Can't drop the. Hmm. So we have to go look around for an urn now, I think. I hope See. I didn't completely miss that somewhere. Yeah, and by the way, for you people in chat, I think I think extremely many people have Windows 10 due to it's getting harder and harder to keep Windows 7s working. Yeah. Right. And, uh, yeah, it is also known that Windows TV does not play nice with many old games. <laughs> yeah, that's for certain. But for some reason, it most we haven't had many problems with Technomate. Well, beyond the fact that I can't move and use the mouse for actions much at the same time. But, or not as well as it would you normally be, at least. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I am, I don't have any plans on upgrading to Windows 11. I've, I've been hearing a bit of mixed things about it. Some good, some bad. It's good, uh, probably going to take a while before it's actually good. Yeah. Like, proper good. Like, it took a long time for Windows 10 to have some respect, but people still dislike it. Yeah. Then again, people really love Windows 7, and they have been unable to play up to that promise. There's an inscription on the door. Okay, only truly wise. Do we need to go back to that ghost and seal his spectacles? Possibly. Hmm. Now, I was thinking maybe we need to put on Merlin's cape for this. But no, uh, can I? No, I can't jump over there. I can harass these from behind here, though. And yeah, much more useful than the lightning spell. We will lose out on that, but oh well. Okay. Hmm. We can't get... We can't get to the other side there, so we need to find that urn somewhere. Let's see. Hmm. No. Okay, why is this even here? Yeah, what? What? No fake walls. Though those have had a shine to them every time so far. Well, almost all the time, I think. Hmm. Okay, where is this urn, then? Did I overlook it? 
and let's stick with the Ankh, and then use the radar to help us out a bit. Uh, if we missed something, it should show up with this. Uh, that's a showing the chests. Hmm. Now it's pointing towards a breakable chest there. Don't burn yourself, please. It's my job to burn you. <laughs> okay, we'll need to head back then and see where we might be able to find that urn. Hmm. Yeah, I, I get the feeling I've walked past it at some point. That's that chest. Is there anywhere here we didn't explore? We've checked the hidden room. This is a dead end. No. Gesundheit. Thank you, and that hurt, actually. That kind of hurt my throat. Yeah. <laughs> that I, can happen. I gotta get some before it. Hmm. Uh, let's get the other link. Uh, where is that blasted urn going to be? Actually, there's still some area up there that we haven't looked into yet. So, is it going to be hidden here? Yeah, we definitely didn't check here, so it might be here. Oh. <laughs> Just as I finished that line. Okay. What's with the ghost noises? The Ankh isn't showing any ghosts to us. Uh, oh, come on, a bookcase at the end here and there's not even a book for us to check? Oh well, we now have the urn, we can get the ash, and with that we can summon the old ones, or the wise ones. And that will likely help us to, well, get past that stupid door. Uh, uh, back. Welcome back. Let me swap these back to the boots again. Uh, oh, What? I want a drinky fizzy drink! What do you expect to happen? Uh, oh, come on. thank you, uh, Mrs. Sn Snorkel. Okay, time to run this gauntlet again. <laughs> One game. Gauntlet. But yeah, I played I've... one of the first gauntlets. I played one on the N64, I believe. They had one on 64. I, I, I played one on the 8-bit. Okay. I... Sadly, we did not have to play four players. Perhaps I should use the urn to carry the ash. Oh. <laughs> Once uh, again, we need to, to use it. Uh, I think I saw a red perspective on the Gauntlet series at one point, but I've forgotten... Yeah, there. just what was now it? Now the ash that? is finally in the urn. I had checked that. For, I played all the gauntlet games. Like, I played one, of, two of them that went for PS4, no, no PS2, and they were very fun. Okay. Hmm. Especially the one where they really give you a lot of extra characters. So, I don't know the the age, but the. Uh, Age really was, but one of the characters there was. Um. Very 18 plus. <laughs> a uh, character called the Sorceress. Or Enchantress, and. A, um. How to say this? Scantily clad. 
That too just uh Put some big ass beach balls. <laughs> or yoga balls in this case. Uh, you sure you weren't wait and um, you sure you weren't playing some sort of modded version of Dead or Alive volleyball? It was not. It, you could not mod PS2 games. <laughs> and it's not my knowledge and it, you know they they I seen other people have it and she's supposed to be like that. Uh, okay, we have the pearl, we have the ash, and we have the book. I would think that first one has to put all the ingredients for the conjuring ritual into the bowl before putting the book on the lectern. Okay, if you want to be a stickler, stickler about protocol. I've put the ash into the sacrificial bowl. Let's see whether this thing really works. The black pearl is now in the sacrificial bowl. Okay. So, let's see if we can summon forth the ghost of Jack Sparrow. Oh no. Showing off their lighting effects again. Pretty sure these were well. They look nice still, but they were. I believe they were pretty groundbreaking when this game released originally. It certainly doesn't mm -hmm. sound ominous. A summons that hasn't happened for eons. Has an old one finally found the way to us? Are there are no more old ones in this world, and our knowledge would be trapped in us forever between life and death. There was no big... We, we read of this one before, that, that uh, war report was sent to him, I think. Yeah, we even saw how this statue. It's been a very and long his. time since we were able to share our knowledge with anyone. I wonder who this could be. He looks rather young. Who are you that you have the knowledge to summon us? My name is Melvin, and I called you because I need your help. A friend of mine has fallen into an icy gorge nearby, and I have nothing I can use to rescue her. I hope to find something in the laboratories in the upper part of the tower. Now I can't get through the gate without a password. And I thought you could tell me what it is. Believe me, she's very important to me. The only person in this world who understands me. I must save her. Okay, I'm I'm partially expecting them to call it <laughs> to, to just chew him out for you called us back from on this for this. Oh dear. You mean to say you conjured us up just to ask for a password? I'm sorry, young friend. Such a request is a bit beneath us. Farewell. Okay. Okay. Call it. Don't let the, uh, yeah, don't let the summoning circle hit your ass on the way out. <laughs> what? Wait, don't go. I need your help to save Gothas. Strange and threatening things are happening all over Gothas, and on my way here, I fought constantly with dangerous monsters from the underworld. And there are more of them every day. I know too little about the past to know what I have to do. Tell me what you know. You could have started with that one, Melvin. Hmm. If it's true, then at least we ought to listen to him. But still slap him across the face for starting with the other thing. All right, then. We'll help you. But first... I'll take the Book of Conjuring and destroy it. Our people were and are lost. This will be our last summons. Then we can finally rest in peace. Um, wouldn't it be a smart idea to, you know, pass that knowledge that you have on first? Yeah. 
Listen well to what we are going to tell you about the past. In the time when we lived in Gathos and carried out our research, a great calamity occurred. The Earth broke open, and hordes of ghastly creatures from the underworld covered our land with war and destruction. Only slowly did it dawn on us that we had brought this catastrophe upon ourselves, in that we had taken our research in Steep Torren and elsewhere much too far. Then, we were developing the combined use of technology and magic, and all of our magical machines were powered by the blue energetic magma flowing under our world. We exploited that energy source without knowing that it was this very arterial network of the blue magma under the surface of Gothos that it provided a natural protective shield against the forces of the underworld. It was almost too late when we realized all this and took countermeasures. While the young men and dragons were giving their best in the war against the monsters, the wisest of the learned ones worked on a gigantic machine that would constantly reprocess the still remaining magma reserves like a perpetual motion machine in order to regenerate the protective shield and maintain it for all time. This machine, the Shield Generator of Eternity, was the culmination of all our knowledge and was intended to protect Gothos forever against the power of evil. But despite this crowning achievement of our science, our people still suffered disaster. Okay, so that's what's going on. It, it's basically a sort of a... <laughs> in a way, you could sort of tie it perhaps to uh, modern times with uh, yeah, dwindling fossil fuels and <laughs> climate change. Uh, uh, in this case, it's, it's like they broke... Well, basically broke like a protective ozone layer on the ground. Yeah. And <laughs> accidentally dug their way into hell. Oh, what you've dear. told me of the protective shield explains a lot. What I don't understand is why your people were doomed to destruction, and why do you regard me as an old one? You say your people no longer exist, or do they? Both are simple to explain, my young friend. Creating the shield generator for eternity was the last great deed of a people who had, until then, followed the wrong path. As the circumstances of the catastrophe became clear, the High Council of Wise Ones and Hal Mataros decided that after the war, we should create anew our scientific and cultural life. Since the exploitation of the magma and the combined use of magic and technology had nearly led to the total destruction of Gathos. Each citizen should be given the choice whether his future life would be based on magic or technology. The people finally ended up in two camps, unimaginable to us. There was a traitor among the scientists, and during the final stages of the war, the tower was attacked and taken over by the dark forces. One of the dragons, who was supposedly defending us, your Khan, had been enchanted by the traitor Ramogad with a magic spell, and thus became our enemy. When during that time, Ramogad was receiving his just punishment, your Khan obeyed his will and secretly led our enemies into the tower. Although Archon, the great dragon prince, tried to defend the tower, it was the end of us all. For the monster's attack was too sudden for us wise ones. Thanks to our spiritual counsel, our knowledge remained intact. But no one summoned us for a very long time. We don't know what finally happened to the old ones. But since you bear the knowledge of magic and technology, your skills are equal to those of an old one. Or perhaps you could say that the old ones were Technomages? 
dear. Oh dear, here we go. Here comes the puns. Take yeah, actually, no, for once. Uh, but uh, a part of that speech should sound very familiar. The one about uh, two people splitting up into two camps based on science or technology. Or science or yeah. magic. <laughs> in our very first level in Dreamer Town, we found a book about that. And the, the Dreamers actually re, uh, retained the titles of, uh, or well, the structure of a High Council leading them. <laughs> but yeah, that's what led to the Dreamers and the Steamers becoming a thing. Still doesn't explain the uh, Bullyworth, <laughs> whatever his name was outside. It, he looked very much unlike a Dreamer or a Steamer. And now it looks as though Gothos is again facing catastrophe. Despite the shield generator of eternity, the mana shield seems to be unstable, and the monsters are invading our world once more. Something must be done, or we will all be lost beyond hope. You see, you are the one who must save Gothos. You are the first old one to appear for centuries now, and now the powers of magic and technology are united in you. Trust your inner vision and the power of your imagination to regenerate the mana shield and thus guard against the powers of evil. Oh, if only you had a strong and wise mentor to stand by your side. Like the Dragon Prince, Archon once did for us. Then I'm really an old one? And I alone must save this world? But what about Talus? She's just like me. So for that reason alone, will you at least help me save her? Right, we'll do that. I'll open the gate to the laboratory for you. Meet me there. Now be on your way, Melvin. Go to Helmataros. Oh, if only along with your weapons you had a strong friend and protector with you like we once had Archon on our side. But his treacherous brother Yorkon put him at the top of the tower and banished him forever to the world of ice. I don't know if he will ever be freed from his icy prison. Perhaps you should try. He will certainly be a great help to you. He could help you free your girlfriend. Well now, our powers are fading. Let's open the gate. And may the gods and the peoples be with you always. Girlfriend? Really? <laughs> uh, wait, what? Uh, there's comic books of this game? What? Uh uh, well, where Bully uh, Fort comes from, I can just imagine. I have an idea, but I don't know if I can mention it. It's something from the comics, which play after the... Uh, there's a... I, like he said, there's comics of this game? Okay, I, I'm guessing they only released in Germany or something? And... Yes, the Shield Generator of Eternity. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. I'm guessing its name is better in German? Like, uh... Eternal Engine or something? Well, it is a rather simple name. Unusually simple or... But you don't have many straightforward names or very odd names, right? Like Transfloater. True. Like, it, it, we know it's a teleport, transportation... Transporter, but... Transfloater sounds weird. You get what it means, but it still sounds weird. Uh, let's... Uh, okay, so in German it's called the same. Okay, so it's just... <laughs> it's just a dumb name, in general. <laughs> oh, dear. Generator. Uh, yeah, this way. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, what would be some better air names than... I already said Eternal Engine. Uh... Barrier of Eternity. A shield of Eternity. Hmm. And 
Yeah, to comment one bit on their decision to well, split the, you know, the people, basically. Uh, they they could have skipped that bit. They could have just stopped using the blue and the energetic magma uh, instead. But then again, it could be that they became dependent on it. Yeah, but still, they just could stop you and just search for an alternative. Ah, there you are. Excuse the numerous traps, but they are necessary. One of Aurelia's servants had a little accident here, the poor wretch. But I'd better just open the door for you. Wait. Take this magic cube I found on the way here. Good luck. <laughs> okay. I thank you, and I shall do my very best to succeed. Thank you. Now let's see. There you go. Now let me bloody sleep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me go get the pillow. Let's see, there and are some names which are intentionally it. English, for example, Steamer, Dreamer, Transloter, Hive can even in the German version? Okay. That sounds a bit like uh, how some Japanese shows <laughs> intentionally use English just uh, floated in randomly. Instructions for building a shield generator. They look... Uh, a bit basic. Yeah, oh yeah, we suspect the voice acting in the Yermish would be better for. Yeah. It has some good notes, but also some that feels very out of place or very poorly put together. Okay. For now, though, we have a puzzle here, but we've also hit the two hour mark. Oh. So, yeah, we'll have to call it here. I, I actually. I must have skipped through all of that when I originally played this game, or maybe I just forgotten all of it because, yeah, stupid kid. So basically, yeah. both options could be yeah, true. Yeah, let's remember: most kids did not have patience or cared for watching the end credits. True. <clears throat> so yeah, let's head to our safe. Actually, magic keep strength value. Okay. So now we have an even strength and constitution again, and almost another level again. And nice. yeah, we have we have the increased potion effect. Let's put up a save. We have four crystals now. Now, now that you mention it, it does look like a bit is missing at the top here. So let's save over the fairy forest and head to the main menu. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's a mix between transporter and floating, I guess. A fancy name for a teleporter, which is technically something which doesn't exist, so the characters invented another word for it. That does make sense. Okay, uh, I, I hope you enjoyed your time here, Ozamal. And, yeah. Uh, let's see. Saturday we'll be continuing with uh, Monkey Island, and, uh, and Sunday we'll be doing the the Minecraft stream. Yep, thank you for the follow. <laughs> thank you for following! <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I hope you'll enjoy the other games we'll be streaming eventually as well. Uh, also, one last thing before I actually swatch, uh, switch it off. I, uh, if, if I this is the correct button... Uh, yeah, I put in... Okay, I'm going to need to change the text color for that. But yeah, I put in a an extra scene that would allow us to go into, well, have to screen bigger than this. Uh, I'll need to tinker on that a bit more. It, let's not... Let's go into here so we don't get that happening again. <laughs> okay, uh, Snurksel, I got to go now. See you uh, See you too. See you soon, guys. See you... No. Thank you for being here, Snurksel. All the same. And good luck with whatever you're going to do. Whatever you're going to do. Is it um, Snorkel? Uh, I try uh, at least not to miss Technomage, but I can't promise. Uh, Technomage will be on Tuesday or Thursdays when possible. Uh, on next day, on next week, due to my work schedule, it will be on <clears throat> it will be on Tuesday and Friday instead. All right. Uh, <clears throat> and. Yeah, but from there on, we'll have to see week by week what we'll do. In, in general, I try to do two main week uh, streams of a game. 
something different on Saturday, which has been Monkey Island for about a month or two now, three maybe. And yeah, on Sundays we used to do, you know, we used to try out games to see if they were good for streaming. But yeah, we all we also had to put on uh, a Minecraft stream for a server of streamers that I'm on. But yeah, five things to do, stream in seven days. That was a bit much. So we're until we are done with Monkey Island, we're putting the show, the showcase streams on hold in turn for Minecraft. Yep. And Okay, our health has gone up quite a bit. 244 maximum now. Holy. Compared to yeah, 210 there. In Fairy Forest, we had 143. One f okay. <clears throat> Let's get out of that before we accidentally load back in. Uh, not the late, not the late. <laughs> okay, Saturday. You stream Saturday. Okay, uh, I'll. I'll try to uh, catch a look if possible. Uh, hopefully, we won't stream at the same time. Otherwise, I'll just look at the vi I'll look up the vault after. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Don't forget, we do have a YouTube channel. Oh, he has. Yeah, uh, I am. Uh, <laughs> I am about two months behind on uploading there, but I am working on that slowly but surely. Here. <laughs> and yeah, I don't think there's anything else. So. so Thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Uh, thank you Ozumel and Snurksel for uh, watching and chatting along. And thank you as always, Drakir. You're most welcome, my friend. And anyone else who has been watching now or later, thank you as well. And until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe, folks. Watch out for seagulls with lasers. <laughs> <laughs>